Mani se e fi e brown mushe din chona se ni ebesi e ne e ni pa impi muso aha no e dioso e unkuni ni echele e ne etumi di wohu ashimu na we e na gana forsi o ho electoral commission adai na muha hamoni di namba kaka kaka ube tuja e diamu kandi enti asevi e ni masha dana masha se ni pani biagu mu e ni ma peja namba ni mu na mo kam na yeku ha e di aku ni kuna gana for na sana se mi e na electoral commission biya mizani mami jemen sana di atu juwa se ah wamu doma dinsi a kanta mi se wamu chume di ni na no wamu be ma imu adako fani se and Sambi and some of the better idea a no queen sent you know, and send your mom for a cancer electoral commission for a shada or more boa pano massa sunny penny be a goom and a number now across to noble who the runo and on Sagana forty and Sambi at his ah, yeah, you mo a woo. Watch that was see a debiano any power one betro and dino or move ya or more principi at the map party agents number one cassa or more calculations and unity the more cano and it's great to do. I'd like to emphasize the point Dr. Bosman made about you know, some of the figures that are purported to have been bloated at the head of it, and to emphasize that this is not so. At the level of every registration center, we have all the kids churning out, they, they, they print out the number of uh, statistics on the number of persons who have registered per day. And that, enough, that is enough, a, a high level of transparency. And, this printout is given to all the stakeholders, and by the stakeholders we are referring to the political parties. This enables them to do their own collation as well. I believe that if the EC had an intention not to make these figures available, that printout would not be made available. But that printout is given to every political party agent on a daily basis to enable them to do their own tabulation alongside the EC and to ensure a high level of transparency and integrity. Along the way, I'm sure you know there may be human errors here and there, but as we emphasize, we do have a process of due diligence. And when the provisional figures are changed out, we still have the opportunity to audit and do the due diligence that is necessary. And it is not only in those two districts that some errors were detected. It has been along the way, even in greater Accra, there were issues that have come up. And whilst we churn out, you'll find that occasionally members of the public would also draw their attention to some errors and so on. But just to emphasize that the Commission is committed to transparency and integrity, we are committed to accountability, and that's why we are organizing these platforms and making available our statistics and information on a daily basis. But we'd like to thank you for your commitment to covering our work you are part of us. This nation belongs to all of us. We are key stakeholders in this nation. And we owe it a duty to ourselves, to God, and to the citizens to report the truth and to report what is factual. So we like to continue to urge you to do so in the spirit of truth and transparency and, and justice. 